looking for a cardboard box. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if there's a little trinket that you found on the ship and you've fallen in love with your little sculpture, maybe it would be a little wooden sailboat or of such, well, you know that on the way off the ship, when it goes through that, that uh, metal detector, it's going to be splinters, it's going to be toothpicks, it's going to be completely demolished. Well, I have it upon good authority that I have the best cardboard on the ship. Yes, if you're the successful bidder on my cardboard, I'll have that turned into any box size specifications of your desire, of your nature, and I'll have it painted any color you want. I'll even pay the guys downstairs to paint it for you. No. I will. Yeah. What the original? No cardboard. No. Yeah. Good cardboard. Though. It's the best cardboard on the ship, and you're gonna go back to your cabin store and say, "I've got my little trinket. I'm in love with this. Is there any chance you can get me a cardboard box?" <laughs> cabin store's gonna say, "You should have got it from Degas at the auction." Really? Yeah, yeah. Best cardboard on the ship. I'll have it painted any color you want. Who give me one dollar and nineteen cents for my cardboard? One nineteen over here. Who give me ten dollars for my cardboard? I got ten dollars over here. Who give me twenty dollars for my for my cardboard? I got not 20, ten looking for twenty once. I got ten looking for twenty twice. I've got ten looking for twenty. You guys bidding against each other? You're, you're sitting way too close. <laughs> Force field. All right. <laughs> I've got I've got ten dollars looking for twenty. I got twenty over here now. Kevin knows what this is about. He's done this before. So we're, Kevin, I'm gonna hold on to your bid for twenty. Uh, twenty there for a second. Are you okay with that? Cool. A lot of you guys are looking at me like deer in the headlights, saying, "Dagus, what are you doing?" No, hang on. I'm holding on. I'm holding on to his bid at twenty right now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, for the new people that have never done this before, it's actually a piece of art turned around backwards. It's called Aussie Sight. It's by Melissa Markell, and I had uh, a couple of friends pick this one out. It's a beautiful colors. It's a wonderful collage piece by the wonderful artist Melissa Markell. She's from Lincoln, Nebraska, and yes, it has an estimated retail today at 700 Now, I've been talking for it, but I'm getting kind of dry. I see my latte over there. I'm going to go take a sip, but before I do, I'm going to introduce to you someone who's getting very good at learning fine art. The art world. This guy is getting good. When we set up the art in the morning, we talk, we get it back and forth, we start getting into it. This guy's very close to getting his Bachelor of Fine Arts from the University of Brisbane over the correspondence of the internet. And I'm telling you guys, this, getting, this guy's getting really good. But I need you guys to bring him out with a thunderous round of applause, and he's going to explain the piece to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Frederick. Ito nga pala litrato nito ay naglalaman ng isang ito. Ang mga aso at mga isda na maraming bilding. Salamat po. That's really well done. For two trivia cards, what's the name of that language? Italian! Gentleman's voice? Ladies' voice? Gentleman's voice. Trivia cards for all of them. It's actually called Tagalog, but that's close enough. Ladies and gentlemen, I can, you know what's really exciting? Uh, I can actually share one sentence in Tagalog with you from this from this gentleman's native language. He taught he taught this to me. He did. He taught it to me. You guys ready for this? Hangako ang kaligayahan mo. What did I just say? I wish you great happiness. Yeah. Oh, something for me here. Thanks. For that. Now, Kevin, I got your bid over here at twenty dollars on Ozzy's site. As you can tell by his explanation, an absolutely gorgeous piece of art. If you can do better than twenty, yell it out. Forty. Forty. Where are you from, ma'am? Brisbane. Brisbane. Okay, I got forty dollars from the entire city of Brisbane. Who can do better than forty? Forty-five. Yeah. And where are you from? Brisbane. Oh. Okay. Rockhampton. Rockhampton versus Brisbane. It's the ladies that are getting involved. Look out! It's going to be. 50, it's no longer about the art, it's who's going to win. You know what's going on here. I got 50, who can do better than 50? 60, where are you from? Brisbane, Brisbane, Rockhampton. Who can do better than 60? 65. Gold Coast. Gold Coast, oh yeah, the ladies coming down from the Gold Coast. I hear it's beautiful up there. Someday I'm going to get a chance, I'm going to take some time off the ship and, and venture into that area. Okay, guys, you know what? It's getting carried away. See what's going on now? We, look at what we started. Mademoiselle, let's take your 70. Let's bring it right back to 40. Uh, I, 65 will bring yours back to 40. And yours, sir, back to 40. Are we okay on this one? Do we have like six or eight of these? Okay, good. Ladies and gentlemen, anybody who wants this right now and take, willing to take a chance at 40 down from 700, you'll be very happy with this. It also makes a great gift. How many in the hands in the air at this point do I have at 40? If it was to come back after you see it, it has to go to 50. Ladies and gentlemen, I have one at 40. I've got two at 40. I've got three at 40, four at 40, five at 40, six at 40, seven at 40, eight at 40, nine at 40, 10 at 40. Do I see 11? No, nope, we're safe on that. We're safe with 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times the round of applause for all our successful bidders. That's an absolutely killer piece. I'll show you that at the end of the auction. Okay. Got her. What? Oh, 
you want to see it. Yippee! I love my job. See, this is so fun. I get paid for doing this. I can, I can dance for you guys. Yippee. Hey, you know what? I just thought of something. I just had a killer idea. You know what? Think about this. Think about this. Yeah, 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 we can do this. We can do this. The ten people that own that piece. You guys know who you are, right? Okay. Aha. By round of applause, how many people want to see that? Oh, yeah. Okay. The eyes have it. <laughs> What's that? The eyes have it. The eyes have it? Okay. Very cool. Now, by the round of applause, you guys know the ten people that own that. It's your choice now, okay? Because you guys are the owners of that piece. And you know by, this, by the round of the applause, there's a lot of people that want to see it. Tell you what, if you want to charge one dollar viewing fee <laughs> on each person, it'll take care of your bartender. What do you think? No, I can. Us Canadians, we love the Aussies. Huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. We're taking a, a chance on 700 down to 40. Absolutely gorgeous piece. Well done. The wonderful collage of Melissa Markell. We'll put that off the side for your viewing pleasure. Time to bring out the works of Michael Godwin, the rock star in the art world, ladies and gentlemen. This guy is a rock star for a reason. He lives like a rock star. He's hardcore. He's full on. He's leather jacket, piercings, tattoos, the whole nine yards. If you happen to take a chance and jump on the internet, please go to galleries you know. Go to galleries you trust. Wentworth Gallery, Fine Art Wholesalers Gallery, Peabody Gallery, Elaine Fine Art. Also, you can go to the, the artist's own galleries. You can go to Wyland.com. You can go to... Let's see, Howard Barron's. All these guys are selling artworks on uh, Sherry Hatch and Bowen. And also check out... The Rockstar's website, and this happens to be MichaelGoddardArt.com. Now, who is this guy? Well, he lives in Las Vegas. He started at a young age. He used his art as uh, an escape. He used to just draw for the fun of it, and then all of a sudden he captured this amazing talent and started bringing this, these images forward. Now, this is exciting because not only are you looking at an incredible artist, he's actually an incredible person. This guy's intellectual. This is intellectual artwork. He's classically trained. He's got a great sense of humor, and they're all part of a series. Does anybody know the name of the series of this artwork? <laughs> Don't drink and draw. Don't drink and draw. That's the name of his piece. He's not a drinker. He's been painting these wonderful martini glasses, fl uh, champagne flutes, and wine glasses for many years. People ask me, Degas, I say, what? They say, how long does the limited edition last? Well, generally, maybe six to eight weeks. Oh, sorry, six to eight months, generally speaking. These are lucky if they make it to three months. Generally, in six to eight weeks, they're all spoken for and into private collection. People sail with me many times before.